So you just got done installing your LEDs in your early solid state pinball machine and this is what you see starting right away. Lots of flickering, lots of issues it looks like, uh, kind of a not a really great look and it does not match what you saw with the incandescent bulbs prior to teardown. So there's a couple different ways that you can fix this. We're going to cover those here on the pinball workshop today. So as I mentioned in the intro, we want to be able to resolve this issue. And there's a couple different ways that today I'm going to show you the ways to do it. Now, if you do any type of research, you find that there are five to seven different ways that you can make this happen and resolve this issue. But I like to show you kind of the three ways that I feel like are the best ways to do it. The first way being the, uh, the addition of a resistor to a specific lamp socket. In this case, if you're doing a low end uh, restore or you're just wanting to add some LEDs in specific areas. Uh, the second way is a complete replacement of your auxiliary lamp driver board. And the third way is a way to use your old auxiliary lamp driver board, but to still get the, you know, still did not have your LEDs flicker as they do right now. So let's dive into the first way. So let's say, for example, that I've got this early solid state silver ball mania here, and I want to be able to install LEDs that, you know, in very specific places. Maybe I want to put maybe three or four in and not necessarily, you know, change the entire machine to LED. So what we can do that is we just take some resistors. Uh, I'm not for sure. I think these are like 490 ohm resistors here. Uh, you can use anywhere from 470 to about 1K or even 1.5K. But what we're wanting to do is we're actually wanting to install uh, one of the resistors across the two lugs. So we've got our, our two lugs here, the red and the white. And when we install that resistor across that lug, what that's going to help us do is that's going to actually keep that that SCR latch open when we expect to be open by basically drawing the current and keeping that open uh, even though we have an LED bulb in here. So this is going to really cause that flickering to stop by installing that that, that resistor. Now resistors, they're cheap. Um, the, the problem with this type of, of, of appeal is that even if you look at this machine here, there are a lot of bulbs that exist within the Silver Ball Mania. So if you're buying resistors for all of these bulbs, this could necessarily take you a while to place resistors at each one of those. So there are some other ways that you can do this and some ways that don't even require soldering. So let's show those ways now. So if you've decided that you've not wanted to go the resistor route, but you still want to be able to put LEDs in the machine. In the case for this machine, you want to LED the entire machine. A great place to start is looking at your auxiliary lamp driver board, which is this board right here that's found in this case, these early Valley solid state machines. Now, there's a couple different options that you've got with this board. Uh, if this board is having other issues, you can replace this board. Um, I'll show a picture right here of an Alltech uh, auxiliary lamp driver board that's made also to be used with uh, LEDs. So by purchasing that board, you're able to get, you know, to get by, put LEDs throughout the machine, and cause that flickering to go away. But in the case of this board right here, there's actually nothing wrong with it. And I'd hate just to take the board out and replace it if there's nothing wrong. So I found something that's been made for a while, made by a company called Siege, Siegecraft. And Hans, uh, the guy that, uh, the proprietor of Siegecraft, makes these little Bally LED little uh, uh, daughter boards that go on some of the specific uh, uh, connectors here on your auxiliary driver board. And if you look, and this can be hard to see, but these little boards just have a little built-in resistor, uh, looks like a 750 ohms uh, resistor that you'll put out there, and it just actually just sits in proxy through the connector. So this part will go into the board, and then you're, you're in, into the header of the board, and then your connector comes down and pushes into there. I find this to be a, a great setup. Um, again, this is going to cause a no soldering solution. Uh, and it really just makes a neat and tidy type of example. So we saw earlier with our flickering. Uh, let's go ahead and get these guys installed. The first thing that I would say by starting out with this model is making sure that you choose the right, um, the right setup for each of the different connectors. Because you're going to get three of these boards depending on the model of your auxiliary driver board. You want to make sure that you install them correctly. 
So I kind of already done the research ahead of time and I know that this connector goes right here on this one. So what I'll do first is just uh, be able to take that off. Now, one thing that I have noted to do is that always put the connector into the, the or excuse me, the uh, daughter board from Siegecraft into the connector itself. Uh, what I found is that by pushing on the board, you'll run into some major issues in terms of maybe breaking off a header pin or something. So uh, you get this type of look up here. So as you can see, um, we've got the connector in there. And don't worry about these two pins. We'll come back and take care of that at the end. So I've got my connector in, and then I just slowly and very methodically line this up. And there we go. We've got one board in. I'll just move this so we can see. One of our boards in with our connector, our daughter board here with our resistors that are in, in place. So this is gonna save us from going and doing that, that mod I was showing earlier with the resistor at each uh, lamp. This is basically doing the same thing except doing it more up in the chain. Instead of doing it at the lamp socket itself, we're doing it before it gets to the lamp. So let's go ahead and repeat that for the next one. Make sure I've got this the right way. All right, I've got the right one, so I'm gonna disconnect this one. I've got this one here. Uh, one thing that you'll notice here is that you can obviously, this is keyed, and you see that the key mark also matches. So we know that this board goes just like this. But before I do that, I want to make sure that I insert this in. Now I've got that in, and now just place the board. It's a little tight, but we are in. All right, so that's the second one. Let's move over to the other side. The last one I'm going to do by reading the instructions again is going to be this one over here. So let me grab it. I will take this connector off. Again here, you see the key that is written on here. Again, it's going to match the key that's written here on the connector. So I know that it goes in just like this. And now I place that. And there we go. So the final thing that we want to do, uh, and that's actually something I've already ran, is that we need to ground all of these little daughter boards. So you've got this gray wire here that I've already ran, and what we want to do is first we're going to connect, we're going to take this gray wire, and we're connected to some sort of ground. Now I went ahead and selected this ground off this, uh, this strand wire here that I know is ground, I'm going to do this right off the board. And then I've just kind of run it up through, um, you know, one of the cable uh, organizers. And then all I need to do is then just connect each of these boards off to ground. So all we're doing is this is just a ground and a ground pass through. So I just may need to make sure that I hook it up correctly, which is just by plugging these in so that they're all back to ground and everything works well from there. So the ground, ground, and... Ground. And there we go. So now we have the LED uh, anti-flickering mod installed from Siegecraft. Let's put the machine back together and see how it works. All right, we've got the machine back together. So let's go ahead and test it and see if we see that same type of flickering that we saw earlier. So you can tell uh, by comparing the earlier video, now we have a much more uh, incandescent feel to uh, the way that the program is running the, uh, the lamps, back to what you consider to be normal. So you've got a couple different options here. If you're looking for more of that incandescent look and feel, uh, you can always do incandescence and just add resistors to the lamp sockets themselves. However, if you're doing a complete LED makeover of, a, of an earlier solid state machine, this may be a little bit of a cheaper and easier and more efficient way of going. So those little siege grass boards, uh, they, they run anywhere from about $30 or so. Uh, so it is a little bit more expensive than your resistors, but if you count your labor time and cost involved to that, uh, this is a much uh, more efficient way to get to that point. 
So I hope this helps you out. Uh, definitely check out the links below if you're interested into the, uh, the Siegecraft products. And uh, yeah, this will do us as another video on how to fix LED flickering in early solid state pinball, pinball machines. <laughs>